Hello, my lovely Scorpio. How you guys are doing? I hope everybody's well. Scorpio, today we'll do your weekly for second week of September. As you know, this is a general love reading. Might resonate with you, loves. Might not. Please take the message best suited for you. Leave what's not. Also, many, many thanks for each of you who join my home. As this is my home, you are joining my home. Also, many thanks for each of you who purchased a reading from me. Much appreciation and gratitude. Also, sending all of you blessings who are watching these videos. Thank you for subscribers. Much, much appreciation for that too. Let's see here, loves, what we got for you in your overall energy and what we have for this week for you. As general readings might resonate with you, might not, as is not for each of you. Let's see here, lovely Scorpio, what we got in your overall energy and what the Spirit has to say about that. Thank you, Spirit, for helping me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. High Priestess. That's good. I definitely feel here you are very much in tune with your spirituality, very much in tune with your energy. You might not really share too much what you have, but definitely, definitely here you have something to say to somebody. Also, you are looking at the situation for what is positive about this, what is negative about this. What is good for me and what is not. Like you now, like you feel like a Libra, most likely. For some of you might deal with a Libra, but I feel here you are scaling everything right now. What's good, what's bad, what you should do. For some of you, you have a decision to make. And it's, it's a little hard, but you will eventually. For some of you, you're kind of afraid but it's nothing to be afraid of because I feel here eventually you will see it very clearly because deep inside you, you know what is about it. You feel very much like I've been through a lot. Now is the time to put myself first. And yes, you're right. Aries energy. The situation is regarding a family member or somebody you are married with. Because I definitely see here somebody is dealing with a life partner or somebody are committed. I don't feel you you are in a lovely situation. You've been through a lot with this person. And now you just like, I don't feel you are much sharing what you want, truly what you want. Because I don't see you very much open with this person. For some of you, you could be minimal talk between you and this person. Yes. Some decisions need to be made regarding uh, a life partner here. For some of you, you could deal with the Pisces, with uh, Aries, or with uh, Virgo. But let's see here what's going on. Yeah. For some of you, you've been very open in the past and now you don't really are. Yes. I definitely see here the universe trying to move you forward. Yeah. Here he you, here you is, loves. For some of you, you might want to move towards your soulmate. Let's see here. But it is a home situation you are afraid to to reveal or think about it or to move with that. Let's see. Yes, you, you truly what you want, Scorpio. You truly what you want. You need healing. You absolutely need healing. And what you deserve and want is a new beginning. It's something new you want to have here. For some of you, definitely you deal with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Because we have Libra cards, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Doesn't need to be. Also, I see a Pisces. I see a Sag. And I see Pisces twice. And I see an Aries. Doesn't need to be this size. But for some of you, my loves, need to speak up. You need to speak up. If you want to be free from this connection. 
because I definitely feel here is a downfall in this connection from the 10th to the 5. It is a big gap between you two. Could be a big gap of, you know, age differences. Even if you, you are afraid to speak up with this person, Scorpio, I feel here you need to because something it is ending here and it's it's a little ugly but you have somebody else craze for your love and want your love you might have a missed opportunity with this person this person want didn't want to be part of a third party they want you to move forward with them and yes they are a universe blessing for you they are the one you want to be with but they want you to, to leave this behind or to put down this burden. With who you are right now, because I feel here I'm talking with a Scorpio who is married, but is afraid to leave this marriage because of the finances or speaking their feelings, because you are, Scorpio, in love, not with your partner, but with somebody else. And you're very much afraid how your stability, because with this partner you are right now, you might not talk, they might be very stubborn. You feel like you build so much with them and you are abundant financially, but emotionally I don't see you abundant. Because I definitely feel here that it's a lot of regrets. Somebody wants to move forward because the universe is kicking in here, but is afraid to leave this burden. Because whatever relationship you have right now, you feel is like a burden to you. you. You don't feel very satisfied with who you are. And I feel here, this person who you are connected and want to go towards them, they, they might tell you, if you leave this, then yes, we can have something in here. If you don't, then I am leaving from this connection. And I feel here you are between your family and this person who is about to leave. If that makes sense for you, Scorpios. I definitely feel here you will take some time and think about it. What you truly want and wish for your connection to go. And I feel here after that, you will move forward with what you have. I feel here you are very much into you using your intuition. I don't feel you are talking with other people. For some of you, it's a very particular person. Why you are so afraid of this life partner? Are they have so much on to you or so much, you know, it's kind of that person is so much in charge with so much things and you feel like you will crash at the same time? Why, why are you feeling that way? Let's see here. Why this Four of Cups here? Two of Pentacles. I feel here you had a, a rejection because you didn't want to leave what you have. This person who loves you and want to be with you and is a soulmate, they don't accept like you be with your partner and you be with them. They actually ask to you to make an actual decision what you should do, Scorpio. But I feel here the decision was not made because somebody was afraid to lose one of them. So Scorpio, you might lose both of these people if you are still very indecisive. Why this ten of wands? Two of wands? Yeah. If you are not making a choice, either the universe will make a choice for both of you. Either this person you are dealing, they will make a choice. Because I don't feel this person is having more patience. Because they tell you, I do love you. But if you not make a choice, I will make and I will end this. Because I definitely see here somebody... Doesn't want to stay in a connection which is not very fulfilled. Why this moon? Why you're so afraid here? Hangman. Pisces energy again. But I'm feeling here Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here also. But I definitely feel here you are hanging there. 
you know what you need to do, but you not make it because for some reason you you are afraid to. And I feel here some communication about this, some movement will happen between you two. I feel here even you you resisted to end this, you will go anyway towards what you want. Most likely in the six months from now, I definitely see you, Scorpio, with somebody else in another relationship here. I feel here you you are able to move forward. Why this five of pentacles? Queen of Wands. Woo! Page of Cups in reverse. As the jumps this way. Yeah. I definitely feel here somebody is giving you offer and is not accepting. Also, whatever you feel here, for some of you, if you are dealing with a fire sign, that person would try to hold on on you or that person also will feel left out because they feel like you you don't don't want them, you don't love them. Yeah. I definitely feel here you you are dealing with a fire sign or a water sign, a fellow water sign and you want to go towards an air sign. Doesn't need to be the sign Scorpio, but I feel here you are going towards what you truly want because eventually you will turn back to this person and move towards what you truly desire and want. Yeah. Let's see here. Why this wheel of fortune? Why this wheel of fortune here? Yeah. I feel here anyway you will leave. Whatever stability you feel, you will leave. And somebody will feel left. Some, some of you, you might put a divorce or a separation. Yeah. And I feel here you, you will make a choice what you truly want and love. Definitely I see here a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius a fellow water sign and a fire sign. But definitely I see here it is a new beginning here in your life, in your love life. Even you are afraid to speak your feelings, I definitely feel here you will take time. You will reflect about it and then you'll move forward. Yep, Scorpio. Let's see here. What's the message behind this person you are with right now what they are thinking the person you are committed the person you are committed why they have over there what they think about it and what their actions here they still want to be with you if you are with the fire sign they still want to work things out with you but they feel like it's it is a lot of work to do, but they feel like it is worth it to, to do it. Could be for the family, could be for the stability of the family. They want to speak straightforward with you, loves. This person, you might be married for long term, long term person. But they know somebody who wants to walk away. They, If you are the one who tell them... They tell them I'm walking away. They want to know the truth. Why you want to leave this connection? Why this connection will end if we can work it out? Let's see here some messages from the person you are in love with and you want to go towards. Let's see here. They are very much thinking of you, what you do. They're very much like into their head. You are in their head non-stop. They don't know what what's next between you two. They don't know. They feel very stuck in this connection. They don't see if you will make ever a decision regarding them or not. Or if you will leave ever the, the connection you are with somebody else. They Although they might live out, out of distance, they might looking towards you... But they want a chance with you because they still want you. But if you're not taking any actions towards them, 
they eventually will get over it and will move on. Yeah. Eventually they will end with you if you are not giving them whatever they're asking or whatever they want with you. Right now they are still stuck with your energy but eventually they will get over it. Let's see here you, Scorpio. You are moving slow. You are very much worried about your money. You don't know what to do but eventually you will move on from this heartbreak because you choose what you love. Yep. So Scorpio, I think my battery is dying and I feel this it is what I have. Many blessings, loves. I feel here you will choose what is good for you. Even you are confused, slowly, slowly you will have a choice to make. And definitely you will feel it's it's my chance to go forward. Yeah. So Scorpio, this is what I got for you, loves. Many blessings. And we'll see you next week. Bye for now.